today we're gonna to try Coco Coco from Brew Detroit and Imperial Stout. So this one, uh, Imperial Stout with lactose, coconut, and cocoa nibs, cacao nibs, if you wanna pronounce it like that. This was $4.29. Um, ABV is 9.5%. Uh, it was brewed on January 28th, 21. So nice and fresh. Let's check on tap just to see if it shows the IBUs. No IBUs. So let's go ahead and get this open. This has probably been sitting out about a half hour, maybe a touch longer than that. Not bad for, you know, $4.30 for a 9.5% beer. Uh, mocha colored head, chocolatey colored head, uh, mostly small bubbles, a couple medium. Uh, finger of head bubbles on the side are compact, like dish soap. For the color, I'd say that's black. I do have a very small dark amber hue at the bottom, but other than that, I would say it is what it is. Let's go ahead and smell. I, I have to keep smelling it. It almost smells like a barrel aged stout. Like that, the, the alcohol part, part, like the roasted malts there, I, I that, that chocolate's mixing with sweetness, vanilla, but I'm getting alcohol. It's like that alcohol mixed with that roasted malt is the first thing I get. Then that vanilla chocolate comes into play very low. But yeah, it reminds me more of a, I shouldn't say a bigger barrel aged beer because you're not getting uh, like that oak or anything, but just the alcohol mixed with that dark roasted malt. Let's go ahead and taste it. You're definitely getting the coconut. And it almost seems like in the in the beginning that coconut's not sweet. Then that big roasted malt kicks in. Then you get a little bit of sweetness as it's going to the back, but in the aftertaste once it warms up, it is a nice I would, I would say semi-sweet coconut taste. I, I do get, uh, huh, I, I get, it's almost like it wants to be a big bitter beer or big bitter stout and it like stops uh, in the aftertaste, but you still, I still taste that almost burnt dark roasted malt, and it kind of throws it off a little, because I'm still trying to find the lactose. Usually lactose comes off as like a vanilla. Maybe it's mixed in the the back of the taste you get a little bit of that sweet vanilla but that coconut roasted dark roasted malt really takes over but it does become a little sweeter in the aftertaste with that coconut i'm really not getting chocolate there is a touch of chocolate but i wouldn't think of this as like a mounds or anything like that or an Almond Joy, nothing like that. I don't know about this one. <clears throat> I, I'm trying to compare it with the other ones, the other, say, coconut stouts that I've had. I know this isn't pure coconut, that if they're using cocoa nibs, 
that there's supposed to be chocolate in there. But I think the roast and malts take over a little too much. Maybe suppress that coconut or that lactose that's in there a little, yeah, a little too much. I do not get alcohol in the taste, so that's good. I still smell it, though. It's not, it's not as big, but it's still there. I would say for me, it's a little on the light side. It's probably almost at medium, just a little short. But I think that roasted malt bitterness is a little too much in this. Like, I don't know, I don't know how they made it. <clears throat> but it would seem to me you would back off on that roasted malt just a little bit or add something else in there that's going to cover it up. I think it's still worth $4.29. But I wouldn't go into it thinking it's the best coconut slash chocolate beer I've had. For me, I would probably have to go 3.75 out of 5 on this one. I think that roasted malt bitterness is a little too much in the back. It covers a little too much up. I want that sweet chocolate... If... It, Sweet chocolate, I was gonna say vanilla coconut, because uh, like I was saying, usually lactose comes off as vanilla to me. But if you drop the vanilla, I would just say like a sweet chocolate coconut stout. I can see, again, some of the bitterness or uh, the, the dark roasted malts coming through a little bit, but I think this is a little too much. Let's check on tap. One of my friends has checked it in. 4.25 out of 5. Uh, 46 people have checked it in. 4.1 out of 5. Um, let's see. Coconut and coffee. You, you know, that, that's really hard. You're, you're talking about dark malts. Most dark malts, you're going to get some coffee. So that's why I didn't say it in here. Yeah, it's it's going to be there uh, if you're using like a pale chocolate or up. You're going to get some coffee, you know, like a city roast, a French roast. Something's going to be in there. Um, but yeah, I've only had one friend, so that's all I can see. So yeah, if you're into coconut beers, one to pick up. But I would only pick up one if you can find some Brew Detroit beers and just see how you like it. If you've had it, leave it in the comments down below. If you like this video, check some more out over here. And until next time, happy brewing.